Last night I was over in the apiary here and noticed that the bees had been um, kind of piling up in a big pile out here in front of the hive and there's a lot of activity out in the front and we were trying to figure out what what was happening. Now it's the next morning. They, When the sun set last night they stayed out here in a pile and it looked to me like they were trying to kill a foreign queen because we saw a queen that uh, wasn't either one of our queens. Now it's about 6 a.m. the sun's just coming up and about 40 degrees outside. It got pretty cold last night and I do see dead bees in this pile here but there's a few live ones. I could see just a little bit in the middle some uh, bodies moving. So the, uh, the outer bees along the edge here though uh, don't seem to be responding to any touch. They're apparently either dead or just uh, playing dead. <laughs> it looks to me like they're dead. But here in the center there's some movement see right right in here there's bees down in inside that are alive moving around see that one there raised its tail when I lift when I touched it so there's a few survivors here but uh, unfortunately I won't be able to stick around very long to see what happens as the Sun starts to warm things up and the hives wake up I have to head to work and then I'll be back to see what's happened. Also last night uh, as they were uh, kind of heading back inside the hive on the right, the swarm hive, uh, they were making a lot of noise while the hive on the left, the package hive, was very quiet. It's about noon and the bees that I thought were dead appear to have woken up. I don't know if they were just sound asleep and when I was touching them just non-responsive or if they were dead and they've been taken off somewhere by the living bees or what but now this what was a little ball on the ground last night is now a line and they're they've gathered in the shadow of this gate that this is right here. So if I move the gate, you can see that the bees have formed a line here in the, what was the shadow. <laughs> so now I'm really not sure what has been going on here. They're climbing up on the wood chips and kind of hanging from them. But the other hive Uh, just seems pretty normal activity. I'm going to do a little bit of digging around here. I'm going to see if I can see a queen down in this cluster that's on the ground here. I'm wondering if I may have accidentally picked up a second smaller swarm yesterday or three days ago when I picked up this swarm and maybe accidentally got two queens and they corrected my error by kicking these guys out. And the bawling I saw last night may have only been to protect their queen and not to kill her. Um, so I'm going to do a little bit of digging around here. I don't have my suit, so I'm not going to be opening anything up yet. I'll be coming back later in the afternoon and opening up the hives and see what's going on. So after digging through this pile, we found the queen, but she is digging her way in to the pile of bees, but she's in here somewhere. <clears throat> she's right down in here. And uh, I, I'm thinking that we may have picked up two queens when we caught the swarm. And this was possibly a virgin queen that came back from a flight they won't let her back in, but this group of bees has decided that they'll swarm with her. Um, or uh, she may be the older queen 
and got kicked out of the hive or decided to swarm off with a smaller set. But they appeared to be, at, before I disturbed them and stirred them up a little bit, they, they were doing waggle dances, so it looks like they're looking for a new place, uh, this small swarm. Um, I'm, I'm thinking I want to bring a, one of my trap, my, my bait hives over, see if they'll move into it, and then I'll just see what happens. Maybe they'll be big enough they could support themselves. But I don't know. We'll see. But the other hive is doing well. They're, they're all up there. And there, there's still bees in there. They're just a separate colony now. Um, I guess I, I left to go get the bait hive and David tells me that while I was gone I created such a disturbance when I was stirring the pile that all of them left this queen alone. They went back to the main hive except for these 18 to 19 bees that are left with the queen and she is in there. She's in the pile and her wings look very mangled, chewed up. Uh, we don't know if that's the way she came or if they did that to her but uh, you can see her here in the, in the middle there, right there on top now. Uh, I put the bait hive here right next to them. I'm going to move them back into the shade. I'm just going to see what they do. If they move in, meh, they probably won't survive anyway, but at least maybe they'll uh, have a chance. But I doubt it. She would try to fly and she would flop around. So there's the queen out, out of the pile, walking around. I'm not sure if I'm getting her on camera here, because I can't see. The sun's too bright out here. But she's out. She's right here, walking around. Oh, there she is, there. Now she's climbing up to the, oh, she goes into the bait hive. All right, so she just went in. Uh, I don't know if anybody's gonna follow her in or what, or if she's just gonna come back out again. I have some lemongrass oil in there on a Q-tip inside a little baggie. I made some extra holes on it for ventilation since it's so hot today. It's at 90 degrees. Woo! That's hot for this time of year in Oregon. Um, that's why they've been hanging out in the shade as much as they could. Um, my plan is if, if they do move into this hive, I'll just move it into a shady spot somewhere and uh, see what happens. I have no way of feeding them in this bait hive, so they're just pretty much on their own. Little test here. <laughs> 